your girl Lily Shay and today I'm here with Litty Money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to that title and the thumbnail down below and you're like, what is that? Like, what is I'm a celeb get me out of here? Like, come on, what? Basically, it's a TV show where a bunch of people go into the jungle and they do tasks and eat nasty things like kangaroo batty and... <laughs> And fish eyes and everything else that goes with it. Yeah, and they do nasty tasks and, ugh, and challenges mm, and mm, all sorts. Ugh. And get all mucky and ucky. Mm. Anyways, yeah. So today, me and the mummy is going to be talking about episode one and episode two, what happened yesterday. And yeah, let's get into it because I'm quite excited. Me, me too. personally, I would never go on this TV show because me, I don't like... All them nastiness and snakes and rats. And you gotta put your hands in certain holes and undo things mm. and things drop on you. But let's get into episode one. Okay. So how did you find episode one? Like the whole thing of people coming into the jungle well, and all that. People coming into the jungle, of course it's gonna be fun, of course, mm. because they're getting to know people and some celebs knew each other already and so forth. True. But it was the youngers who didn't really know them. Mm. People like Boy George, everybody really knew them. Yeah. And the news reporter and the presenter. But let me ask you one question because me personally, I would not be jumping out of a helicopter. So would you jump out of a helicopter? Yes, I would. Mm. Mm -mm. I would love to. Mm. But Lady Shay said, no, no, no. <laughs> so we have to go for the second alternative. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like me personally, I would go into the jungle. Like I wouldn't go into the jungle like that, but I would be able to survive like food wise because I would try the task and, you know. Um. Myself personally, I would love to go into the jungle, but when it guys, Anton Deck, Anton Deck, we have a next contestant, Anton Deck. No, but with me, right? I'm not eating no kangaroo batty or crocodile, whatever you call it. Listen, listen, for so me to well, eat all of that, yeah, I need to have some seasoning, some paprika, some curry powder, <laughs> like the shebang, shebang, shebang. Like. Oh. I just have some lemon so I can wash up my food, like yeah, and so forth. All this salt and pepper. Like guys, I'm mm. not gonna go into the jungle so my belly can. And can you imagine, right? Go into the toilets as well in there. It's not even a toilet; it's like a pit. Oh, it's like a little pail. Or I don't something. know how little money would survive that because every minute anybody who goes in the bathroom. Oh, oh my god! Quick, quick, quick! I need to go. I need to run upstairs. Wet toilet. Da 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 da. Tidy up. I'm thinking, hold on a minute, but. I understand the toilet and the bathroom needs to be clean, but the way her little mummy does it, I'm like... No, personally, right? I so how would you survive in the jungle? I wouldn't Bro, you... I'd be like, right, what's the time? It's 10 o'clock. Right, boy George is going to go to the <laughs> toilet right now. Right, by 10.15, he should be out, so I can go in there and wash it out with some... Um, with some disinfectant! Yeah, some disinfectant. <laughs> I would be able to survive, but it's just a cooking thing, really, because I know the way how I cook. And I know that we're in a jungle, so we can't bring no condiments in there. Yes, mm -hmm. condiments. Yes, I know. know what that means, you know. <laughs> if I'm going on TV, I'm going to be like, right, I'm here to win. Because one thing about me, I don't like giving up. So I'm going for the kill. <laughs> because there's nothing worse than getting all the way up there, from the helicopter, of course, and then... You're all geared up. You're running jokes and so forth. And then when and then, it comes to the task, you're like, oh my God, no. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know. Anyways, now moving on. So they've got two stars for that, right? I was like, okay, well done to you. Like, good, 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 good. And then what happened after that? Well, what's, I don't want to go too far because um, from what I saw last night, after that part, then it just came to so an episode end. episode two, I found it very interesting. <laughs> I really did, because all the people, after they'd done their task and so forth, mm -hmm. everybody got back together in one um, part of the Also, jungle. hold on, before you continue, I do want to say that I found Boy George a bit rude. <laughs> like, when I he was... met, um, I think when he met uh, Scarlett, yeah, he was like, no, I think somebody said to him, oh, so what made you choose Scarlett to, um, as to go for the VIP? And then he was like, because um she well um he liked her clothing and so from the colours. Then he turned around and said to her, Because you're shallow. Do you think if anybody calls me shallow, I'm gonna just take it? I'm telling them about themselves. And do you know the funniest thing was yeah? Scarlett stayed in the same little bed piece as him and I was like 
Do you think I could do that after somebody downgrade me like that? I'll be telling them back the same thing. But you know what? I don't think she was paying attention to that, what he said, because like, everyone's excited. Everyone's like, yeah, I'm in the jungle. What? Yeah, but... What? Um, yeah, sorry to cut you, but when they look back on it now, say they're going to be in the jungle for three weeks mm. prior. So when she comes out and looks at it now, she's going to be thinking bloody cheek. But mm. by then, what's done is done. Yeah. But again now, this is the next part which I wasn't agreeing with. Um, I like um, certain people in the house. In the jungle. Yeah, sorry. In the <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. In the jungle, in the jungle, because it's called celebrity. Um, yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm a celebrity. Yeah, get yeah. me out here. You can tell that I haven't watched this show for a long time. It hasn't well, been it's on been, show. It's been off um, air for the last two years because of COVID and all that. Yes. yes. So, um, loose woman now, um, Charlene White. I do like her. I like everything about her, period. It's her whole aura. Yeah. And about how she... That is carries off presents herself. herself and um and there's another one in the house. I mean in the um, in the jungle. I must stop saying that seriously. Be a long video. <laughs> and the other one in the jungle, um it's um he's married to Zara Phillips. I think it's Chris Tindall. <laughs> no <it's t> <laughs> What's his name? It is it's not it's Mike Tindall. Oh, Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like saying people's names, otherwise, Listen, not if I'm not I was correct. close, okay. I got the Tindall. Yes, Mike right. Tindall and Charlene, they're getting like a house on fire. You know, I mean, he's a good rapper. He knows all the 80s tunes and so forth. I really dig. I really dig. Yeah, anyway, now, for, fast forward, fast forward. The cooking scenario now. When Charlene and the, um, and Mike Tindall <laughs> was cooking, Boy George had a faceliness to go up on the perch and talk about them behind their back. But you know what I think, yeah? Like, I understand everyone cooks different, everybody wants their food to be well cooked or whatever, but I feel like Charlene should have asked, like, how do you want your, if it's mushrooms, how do you want your meat cooked or whatever uh, the case is? Because some people don't like their mushrooms fully cooked. Like, some people want it to be a bit, you know, mm, a, a bit uncooked or whatever it is. So I feel like she should ask the camp members how they want their food to be cooked and all that. But, um, yeah, sorry to cut you on that one because it's an outside camping thing at the end of the day and it's no five-star like... No, I know <laughs> like that. Like Harriet in the, no, in, the, in the restaurant I or know, if you're at home. No, I know that, but I'm just saying that I feel like she should have asked like, how people wanted it because not everybody likes um, cooked, cooked food or un uncooked food, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do understand what you like, mean. Some people don't like that, so I feel like she should have asked because now this is going to cause some type of contention. And it's going to be like, oh, oh, but you should have asked us how we wanted it. And Ray Ted Ted and Charlene's going to get vexed and be like, well, if that's the case, you cook. I know, but I know what you're saying, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's only the second day. So Boy George didn't have to be carrying on like that, period. Because eventually, everybody's going to have their turn. Mm. Because I can see what's going to happen in, in, the, um, in the jungle already. I got it right, jungle. <laughs> In the jungle already, it's gonna cause contention with um the cooking um. Outcome. But you know what? In every single episode which I've watched in the series of what I've watched, yeah, it's Friction. always some type of problem with the cooking um if the cooking thing. So I do think that sooner or later there's gonna become like a routine, like a chart of who does what on what days, which <laughs> I think will work good because like, some people need structure and not everybody can just can work off no structure so i feel like in the jungle we need some structure like we need some type of timetable to who cleans the bogs who cooks who washes up well who tidies up like we need some type of structure because i feel like it's gonna get out of control people are gonna get upset with each other and it's gonna be like mm. sorry to cut you that will come eventually but that's early days yet but when that part does come it's gonna be like one person don't want well Nobody likes cleaning out the toilet mm. at the end of the day because it's not a house, it's in the jungle. Mm. So therefore, you're going to get somebody saying, oh, why is it me first? Why is it me first? And then... But no, I don't think that will come to it because I feel like everybody in the jungle is big man and big woman. So it's like, if responsibility comes, then responsibility comes. Responsibility like... will come, yeah, but it's going to take time because how you know that Charlene was in that little patch before. Mm. So I'm not saying that she's got responsibilities there, but it's like, you know what I mean? She's taking upon herself like a mummy figure. I think because she's got children, she's like, okay, you know what? I'm the big... I'm the bigger person here. I'm going to set the rules. I'm going to put down things and, you know. But people do like her. 
Yeah, they do. Like, people do actually like her, so it's not a thing where anybody hates her apart from boy George. But hey ho, we're gonna get into that more. Yeah, and another thing again, I don't think that Baba Tunde <laughs> should ever answer the phone. Tunde made me laugh, yeah. He's a joker and a comedian and so forth, yeah. But personally, if I you don't know who he is. He was he, he was featured in one of the Goggle Box uh, series. He is a comedian. Yes, fast forward, fast forward now. Yes, he should answer the phone because if you're going to answer the phone right you meant to take all the information in and then pass it out to the jungle um people out there he didn't know what a monogram was and then he's getting himself all confused into a fuffle then i was just busting up again if you don't want to answer the phone nobody's not pushing anybody to answer but the it's phone. the way how we just jumped up and was like yes that's the phone yes that's the phone yes it's his house it's in his house yes it's my wife yeah hi babes you're right yeah Lovely, lovely. I'm having a great time in the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> I found it hilarious. Then, then so Scarlett. After, yeah, go on. Yeah, so after he went in and made a total prat of himself, um, Charlene sent up Scarlett mm. to answer the phone. And then she got it all right. Then after all that, they managed to get the um, the answer right to the question, which was great. You know, so I wonder how Baba Tunde felt. <laughs> <laughs> What other things can you remember from um the second night? Um and also guys, I loved it how Owen and Jill Scott was working together. Like that chemistry in that task, amazing. Amazing. Like if you know what I'm talking about, comment down below and let me know who your favourite jungle buddy is because my favourite so far is um I'm I'm liking Charlene and I'm starting to like um I did like Olivia, but for medical reasons, she had to leave the jungle. Which I'm really upset about because I feel like she could have actually won this whole competition or this whole experience. But when you're sick, you're just sick and you need to leave. So, yeah. And also, in tonight's episode, Baba Tunde will be taking on a task. Yeah, where he needs to collect stars so that his team members back in the jungle can eat. Well... Mm. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to take like, place. Man, like Baba Tunde is scared of everything. When I say everything, he's everything. scared of everything. And this task includes him going up high, 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 yeah, with cockroaches, snakes, whatever, you spiders, name you name it. Greens, greens, potatoes, potatoes, lambs, lambs, greens, greens. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he'll be going up. High, I don't even know how high it is, but it's mm, pretty high. Very high. And I don't know how he's going to cope because in his first, first, first task, he couldn't even do it. I don't know how many stars he's going to bring home. So let's watch it tonight and let's find out because I'm so excited. I can't wait for tonight. I'm telling you. Like, can't wait is not even the word. We have how many hours left? Like, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight hours to go before I'm a celeb. Get me out of here. It comes on. <laughs> and all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat with us. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see more of these type of sit downs and talks about I'm a celebrity, get me out there, just make sure you like, share, comment, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend because me and Little Mummy are going in the jungle. Yes. To rumble. What are you doing? Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video. video. Peace.